Sled Bill 2019. What a cool contest. Dennis Kirk called us up and said, asked us at Sledhead 24-7 if we could judge a contest that they were uh, setting up on the internet. So what it was was you could actually uh, have a restored snowmobile or a custom snowmobile, submit your uh, pictures of your sled with a little description. <laughs> it is cool. We got over 200 entries on this contest. You know, I was just floored by the attention to detail some of these sleds have, both in the restored class as well as the custom class. You know, in the restored class, there was a lot of really cool restored snowmobiles, but one that really caught our eye was a 74 Roloflex Wild one. Now this one, this Joe went to, he spared no expenses on the attention to detail. He took every last piece apart, had it painted, powder coated, redid it. This sled attention to detail is second to none. This particular snowmobile looks better now than it did when it came off the showroom floor. I can attest to that. And one thing that's really cool, 1974 Roloflex. I mean, that's my ear. I mean, I rode a lot of the snowmobiles back then. I don't even know if I ever saw one on the snow. That's what makes this thing so cool. It's so rare, and to have somebody able to make and restore it to the level that Joe did, it, it's just awesome to see that done. And Joe, there's a $250 Dennis Kirk gift certificate coming your way for submitting this cool build. Now the custom entries, now this particular class went way over the top. There were so many cool things. I mean, I just sat back looking at some of these snowmobiles going, what were these guys thinking? What were they drinking or smoking as far as that goes to come up with some of the ideas they had? And the hands down winner in this case went to Wyatt Cramp who built the SM440, which is the Snow Mower 440. It was a combination of a John Deere liquefier married with a John Deere tractor, which is cool, John Deere and John Deere. And his attention to detail was second to none. The things he did and the things he built for this machine is so cool. You just gotta see it to really just to get the full appreciation of this build. You know, Wyatt has said, that they were, he saw this picture of a John Deere tractor on the internet, photoshopped with skis and a track. Him and his buddies were joking around, and he said, you know what, I can build that. And he did, and he did a fantastic job. The attention to detail is so awesome. This thing is so cool. It's, it just kind of floors me that somebody put this kind of work into this one snowmobile. I think old Wyatt has a little too much time on his hands. Well, the suspension was a combination of uh, easy ride. It's a uh, newer suspension where you have one trailing arm, so you get the front going all the way to the rear. Uh huh. And then Scorpion Pararail. They use all bogey wheels on a rail, so I can run in the summer and don't need lubrication. Uh huh. And then the tensioning system in the rear axle is the same as John Deere liquefier. Um, the tunnel shortened up about a foot and a half, and uh, so that I can get the, the extra height out of the suspension. And then under the hood, here's a 440 liquid cooled Kawasaki. And that's completely what... rebuilt and beat blasted. This isn't going to be an everyday driver. I think you could. But I mean, how cool is this? If you pulled in somewhere on this, you're going to turn a lot of heads. I can hardly wait for sled build 2020. Everybody, start working. You got all summer long to get your sleds ready. Get them done. Usually about Hades, we're going to announce the contest. Submit your uh, entry. Let's see what you got.